Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo games on your minis. It might be a little obvious how to do this with the NES Classic, but if you have the SNES Classic or the Genesis Mini, there's a couple extra steps. A quick recap on how to install the custom kernel in HackGCE. You go up to the Kernel tab, click Install Repair, click Yes, connect your mini system to your PC, hold down the reset button, and power on. I'll have my modding video in my description for you to take a look at if you need extra instructions. Once the installation is complete and you have the green dot in the bottom corner, you are good to go. So for the NES Classic, there are two ways to run your NES games. You can use the native emulator called Catchy Catchy, or you can run your games through RetroArch using one of the NES cores from the KMFD Manic Hub. So we're just going to add one game for this demonstration, Bionic Commando. To add the game into Hackchi, you can just drag it right into the system. The artwork and spine and description are filled in automatically. If we take a look at the command line, you can see that it is defaulted to run with Catchy Catchy. So if you want to run these games with the native emulator, you're pretty much done. Just click Synchronize Selected Games with Mini down here. But if you're looking to run them with RetroWork so you have access to all the different options of that program, here's the steps you have to follow. Go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroWork tab and select which version of RetroWork you want to install. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. Scroll down till you get to the Nintendo Systems. And we have a few emulators to choose from. FCEUM Extreme, NES Topia, and Quick NES. I prefer FCEUMM Extreme. Highlight the core. Once again, download module. Close out the Mod Hub. Go back to your Modules tab. Install extra modules. Put a check mark next to the emulator that you picked, as well as your version of RetroArch. Then click OK. So even though we've installed RetroArch and the NES core, we still have to change it so this game will run with that core. Because right now, if we look at the command line, it's still connected to Catchy Catchy. To do that, you right click on your game, go to Select Emulation Core. Click on the game to the left, click the Show All box, make sure Nintendo is highlighted, and in the bottom box, click which core you're using. Click Apply and then close. If we take a look at our game again, you'll see that the command line has been changed. Now if we add another game, you can see that one is still running with Catchy Catchy, so you'll have to do this again if you have a batch of games you want to run through RetroArch. All you have to do is highlight all the games, and once again you right click, select Emulation Core, and then you're presented with that same screen as before. You can just highlight all the games, go through the same process. If you're on a system other than the NES, the process works the same way, except for one step. If you've already downloaded a module to HackG for another system and you're using that same instance of HackG for another mini system, those modules stay. So if we go to the Modules tab and install extra modules, the FCEUMM Extreme and RetroArch programs are already here. We don't have to re-download them. So for the steps on other consoles, we do the same thing. Go to our Modules tab and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to the emulator and RetroArch. Click OK at the bottom. Once they're installed, click OK. Now let's add our games. If we check out the command line, you can see our games are set to run with Catchy Catchy. And it somehow works, even though they're not assigned to the NES core. I guess Hackchi just automatically assumes, since it's not the native system, it will run it with whatever NES core is installed. But if you want to make sure they boot correctly, we'll go through those same steps. We'll highlight our games. Right click, select Emulation Core, I like the games again, Show All, Nintendo, FCEUMM Extreme, click Apply, then Close. Now our command line has been changed. Final step, synchronize selected games with Mini. Let's hop on the Genesis and take a look. And we have Bionic Commando over here, and Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Now, even though these games aren't native to the Sega Genesis Mini, if you hit the A button to go to the next screen, it gives you the description that was in HackG. And by hitting the B button to go into bookshelf mode, both games have their own spine art. Start it up to make sure that it works. Looks like it's running just fine. Remember, if you're having any issues in getting this working, you can go to the Rock in the Classics Discord 
or subreddit for help. And that's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.